Welcome to our special service uh, here at Dutton Baptist Church. Um, and um, well, it's Christmas, and I'm almost certain that all of you know the reason of Christmas. Jesus Christ was God, the Father's gift to all of us. We are reading text uh, of almost 2,000 years ago and sing old songs, but today I would like to share a personal story uh, and experience in how relevant is Christmas in our daily life. Yeah, because you maybe come to your mind, oh, uh, the, the Bible text is so old, these songs are so old, you know, what's the connection? What's the relevancy of the story of Jesus 2,000 years ago in my life today? Well, I grew up in Brazil and uh in a big city called Sao Paulo with more than 10 million people in the core uh, city there. I think I was about 35 years old and uh, this is story, uh, so almost 20 years ago, it was my second year as a full-time pastor in a small church in one of the neighborhoods of Sao Paulo. And one day, uh, 20 years ago, I received a call and saying, just pass the information, um, one of our members of the church uh, at the time was in the hospital in a critical state. I need to give you a background about this, this man. He was 6.2 uh, healthy and very strong. He was fine, uh, but uh, so, but the problem, the, what, what happened, and he was walking from his house to his work was less than um, one, uh, one kilometer uh, from his home. Well, he was walking uh, on the sidewalk and, uh, and was run over by a car. I do not have all the details but the car hit him full on. I went actually to visit him at the hospital, but I was unable to talk with him. He was in the intensive care. Um, uh, in I, I was able to see him through the, uh, through, uh, but uh, well, after two, um, two weeks he was there, sadly Carlos passed away. One week after the burial, I called his mother and made a appointment to go and see her and see how she was doing. Carlos' mother was a lady around 80 years old. Carlos, I believe, was maybe 45. Well, I went to um, this visit uh, prayerfully. I knew Donna um, Adelaide for the last 15 years. All this was happening exactly in the beginning of the month of December. To be very honest with you, I did not have an idea of what to say to her because I knew it, how close they were. Well, when we met, I saw a sad and desolate lady who asked me, Pastor, how can I celebrate Christmas this year? I lost my son. As I was listening to her, God directed my thoughts. I do not have any doubt because I was really fearful for that visit. Uh, but God really helped me and said and put it, the following words in my in my heart. And I said, "Dear Donna Delighty, your pain is real, 
but we can still celebrate Christmas. And I was, for this reason Jesus came. That's why he came. Jesus came to put to an end to a separation, death, sadness, hopelessness, and darkness. Because the birth of Jesus, we can have a certainty that one day you are going to see your son again. So yes, it's sad, it's deep, what you are going through right now, but we have hope in Jesus. And everything starts with Christmas. Well, if we go to the New Testament, we are going to hear to read the following words. Jesus spoke to the people once more and said, this is John 8, 12. I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. So in Jesus, we, we can have we can have life and we can have light. As we gather today on this weekend, I want to say to each of you, you do not know, I do not know your pain, challenges or issues you are facing in this world, but God knows. I know one truth, you are not alone. You do not need to be alone. You do not need to fight alone. You can count with Jesus Christ. He came to bring hope to any situation and nothing is difficult or bigger than him. He is the one actually said one thing very interesting to Martha. Martha was Lazarus' uh, sister. And I believe, if I don't know if you heard the story of Lazar Lazarus, but Martha was approaching Jesus, crying and saying, my brother is gone, my brother is gone. Well, Jesus told her, this is in John chapter 11, 23, 26. Your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said. He will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live every, even after dying. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never, ever die. And he, Jesus, asks something to Martha. Do you believe this, Martha? Do you believe I am the resurrection and the life? I can really intervene and bring your brother back do you believe? Well, if you continue to read uh, chapter 11, you will see Jesus actually brought Lazarus back to life. He is powerful. He can make miracles. Jesus came to bring freedom, salvation, forgiveness of sins, and eternal life. Therefore, Jesus is able to provide you with hope. You just need to believe in him alone, completely, totally. Well, Christmas message is relevant today because Jesus is real and ready to walk with you. He is the best and the ultimate gift of Christmas. 
Have you realized that? He is the best and the ultimate gift of Christmas. So, Merry Christmas. Enjoy what we have in God. Celebrate the, the baby Jesus. Celebrate life. Celebrate light. Celebrate hope. God bless you and Merry Christmas.